Imagine a coastline unspoiled by development, where the largest coastal sand dunes in Africa rush down to meet the azure waters of the Indian Ocean. Imagine a place so untouched by man that kilometres of coastline, stretching out as far as the eye can see, persist without a single human footprint. A rare mixing of temperate seas from the south and tropical influences from the north results in a profusion of life in this region, showcasing a diversity of species rarely encountered in one centralised area. And here, in this complex landscape of open seas, which merge with tidal bays, shallow estuaries which support networks of dense mangroves, we bear witness to the true splendour of coastal East Africa. Waters so productive and rich with nutrients that they can sustain populations of the largest fish in the sea, where dynamic conditions ultimately creates ocean balance. Where remote sanctuaries provide refuge for some of the world's most threatened marine life. Now imagine that this coastline was unprotected. That left unregulated, it was being plundered unsustainably. And without proper guidance, the drive to acquire food for subsistence was instead snuffing out precious resources for tourism. Where international influence is transforming artisanal fishing into an industry that harvests indiscriminately. That instead of being safeguarded, that these defenceless ocean giants felt the full weight of our anthropogenic pressures. Fell victim to senseless acts of cruelty. Or became expendable in economically driven agendas. The Marine Megafauna Foundation was born right here in Africa. The concept came from a few individuals who desperately wanted to preserve the biodiversity and the fragility of this Mozambican coastline. Marine megafauna species are large, charismatic animals, iconic by nature. They include animals like the whale shark, the manta ray, dolphins, marine turtles, even dugong. These animals all inhabit Mozambican waters. In fact, they all inhabit a very narrow range of this coastline known as the Inyomban province. But these animals not only represent vulnerable species in dire need of protection, they also represent a unique tool for marine conservation. Beloved by people the world over, these enigmatic animals engender a high degree of public interest and can act as lucrative draw cards injecting valuable funds into local economies and creating infrastructure and employment opportunities. We were hoping that this economic incentive would motivate the government to protect particular areas, critical habitats along this coastline, and thus all of the ecosystems and all of the other species within them as well. This is a concept that has been applied successfully in other parts of the world, and because of its rich biodiversity here in Mozambique, we wanted to see if we could also apply these same principles here. For the last 10 years, conservationists from the Marine Megafauna Foundation have been engaged in world-leading research on manta rays, whale sharks, sea turtles and other threatened marine species along the rural coastline of southern Mozambique. Their work constitutes some of the only baseline information for these species in Africa, and in many cases represents keystone research on these animals globally. MMF is an organization filled with individuals that share a common vision and a passionate commitment to the marine environment. Our primary objective is to conduct cutting-edge scientific research that can be directly applied to the management of these large marine species and their continued survival worldwide. We choose to work in areas with clear conservation needs and also world centers of abundance of these species where we can learn more about the biology and ecology of these animals. Many of these species are ranked as vulnerable to extinction, having been decimated by fisheries across the globe. Others are rare or poorly understood. In some areas, they represent the only viable populations left in a region. 
And all of these cases being based in the field in the countries that we work keeps us close to our research subjects and in touch with their conservation needs. While we work on very specific localized issues, MMF research has global scope. Our work is frequently used to support international protective legislation, develop conservation initiatives, and provide baseline information about our focal species. So for example, since our program on manta rays has been underway, MMF staff and their research has assisted with the evaluation of their conservation status on the IUCN Red List, played instrumental roles in listing the giant manta ray on CMS, the Convention for Migratory Species Act, and perhaps most notably, led efforts to include all manta species on the appendices of CITES, a treaty which will restrict the unsustainable international trade in their body parts to Asia. To know that our efforts are making a difference, to, to actually see that positive momentum is what keeps us going, what keeps us fighting here. But MMF has a vision that goes beyond research. They believe in fundamental goals like integrating local communities into coastal management initiatives, knowing that indigenous people, inextricably linked to their lands for survival and subsistence, will always prove the best stewards of their own environment. If we want to create lasting change, the impetus is on us to develop creative solutions that will be sustainable over time, work with, not against local communities, change human perceptions towards our ocean, and strive for a healthy balance between our human needs and those of the natural world that supports us. In keeping with this philosophy, MMF has a strong commitment to foster education initiatives within the local communities which we work. We have created and will continue to participate in various programs that help teach local communities, particularly youth, to dive, explore, and connect with their underwater world. With every passing day, the future of the fragile Mozambican coastline becomes ever more precarious. The time for decisive action has arrived. And as Mozambique's government stands at this critical junction, they are accountable not only for the country's immediate stability and prosperity, but for safeguarding its resources for the future and preserving the wonders of its natural heritage. In poor developing countries like Mozambique, the protection of critical marine environments or the management of vulnerable species is often not a high priority of the government. MMF is trying to change this reality and has a distinctly integrated approach to our long-term conservation strategy. We pride ourselves on maintaining a balance between what I like to think of as multidisciplinary research, the development of a science-based management strategy, and active lobbying towards the better, more sustainable use of our oceans. Using this multi-prong approach, we are now working to form collaborations with local and international scientists, conservation bodies, dive operators, maritime and tourism authorities, and other government officials to create broad-scale protection for our focal species and their important marine habitats. Our hope? To use our successes as a model for marine conservation in rural Africa and inspire a new generation of conservation biologists to tackle marine issues in the places they are needed most. After a decade of successful efforts here in Africa, MMF is now expanding our programs worldwide. To support the efforts of the Marine Megafauna Foundation, please follow our work across the globe.